Welcome to Next Step Advanced Sketching. This is the technique that we all want to focus on today and it's going to be our zoo animal also called the elephant. First thing we're going to do and try to get the shadow out of your way folks is we're going to start with the trunk elephant trunk is the longest appendage of the elephant and there's going to be two holes coming out of the trunk and of course an elephant's going to have floppy ears notice I don't go across the trunk on this side and on the other side I'm going to do the same ear I'm going to do a connecting rod or a connecting curve we're going to do a chin elephants have chins now, elephants have very beady eyes. This is one of the telltale signs that you are dealing with an elephant. And to make this more realistic, we're just going to kind of join two sideways V's. One of them is flipped. All right, let's do our body. Elephants have tails. Uh, that curl almost like a pig's tail curls so far so good elephants are gray and they're also going to have these indentions on their ears on both sides not just one and you're going to have some bends and folds here uh, most elephants are going to have teeth uh, two front teeth made of ivory and these typically are going to be white but since we are just sketching at this point we're going to go ahead and do those in a little uh, graphite shading and elephants have big hooves with three toenails as you can see here and one two three so we're going from something as simple as a sketch in a few shapes to something that's going to um, in less than maybe two minutes be photorealistic. All right, then we're just going to add some more detail to the head. We're going to bring up the ears some more. And we're going to add some back shading and uh, a third toe, third foot, and then a third foot right here. All right. Now let's do some coloring. Now elephants, typically in real nature, uh, are gray, gray purplish or grayish. But we can make an elephant any color we want today just for originality. I'm going to make my elephant a nice sunshine yellow. Now notice that I'm not coloring the snout, the tip of the snout. Um, because that's going to be a pinkish color and that's how an elephant is going to rinse itself off in the morning or in the evening it takes a shower and the more you practice the better you will get it looks easy sure is it easy well yeah because I've been doing it for several years see with time uh, you'll certainly be there too now uh, lastly, we're going to do some, some shading, highlight shading. And this is just to kind of draw attention to certain aspects. Because in the wild and in nature, we are going to have some contours that stand out more than others. Correct? Correct. Keep your toes symmetrical and evenly spaced. All right, there we have a photorealistic elephant. Uh, again, you can uh, determine whichever color you'd like for your elephant. Um, and we did today's quick sketch. I wanted to do it in less than five minutes. If you have any questions or if you're struggling um, replicating this figure, do not give up. As I always say, uh, please post a comment and I will uh, do my best to get back to you with some tips of the trade. Have a great day and thank you for joining.
see you for our next advanced next step class.